Let's describe the R1307 Universal 2.4. Uh, you've seen the R1307B 2.4. The R1307 Universal 2.4 has a few more functions. So the, the setup is pretty much the same. The power button's on the bottom. We get the, the version of the software. Now, the top button is the menu button. Again, press the menu button and hold it. The display in this one, I can have absolute or I can have zero. If I press the up arrow key, I can change this to relative or basically zero mode. Uh, absolute, when we're doing bore alignments, we all, always want to use absolute. We never want to use relative. If we have 15, 19 targets hooked up and we're communicating with 15, 19 targets, then pushing the up arrow key will zero those targets. That puts those in the relative mode. Okay, I can change my in units from inches to millimeters by pressing the up arrow key. The next screen is the averaging. I can increase or decrease the averaging. The resolution, I can change from four decimal places to three, to two, to one, back to four. Press it again, the target ID. <laughs> If I'm using radio, if I'm using the radio at all, I have to tell this which channel that I want to transmit on. So this would be if I'm using the 1519, 1520 targets, A1519, A1520. If they're set at channel one, I want this set at channel one. If I'm using the A910 and I may be doing bore alignments, then I need to set at the channel number that the A910 is set on. This is the brightness. I can change the brightness of the screen by pushing the up arrow and the down arrow. Function is local, meaning it's plugged in, it's cabled. If I press this again, this is pole. What I mean by pole is if I'm using an A5, A1519 target or an A1520 target, this will pole and look for those targets. I can change that also to listen. So if I have the A910 plugged into the computer, the computer is going to poll and this is going to listen for the response. If we're doing bore alignments with this and we have the target cabled, we want it at local. So I'll put that at local. Well, again, to repeat, local is plugged in, it's cable. Okay, this is the target ID. This particular readout, we can program nine different targets into here. Nine different targets, because each target will have its own calibration factors. We calibrate those targets and we put those calibration coefficients inside of this, this readout. So whatever target we have connected to this, if unless we're using A1519 or A1520 targets, the calibration of those targets are in the targets themselves. If we're using cabled targets, then we have to put the calibration factors in here, as well as some other offsets, centering offsets, what have you. But, and then we also have a pulse beam and a continuous beam on the, on the, uh, the bore lasers. So we have to be able to select whether we're using a pulse beam or a fixed beam. In most cases, we only ship um, pulse, pulse beams. So but you may have a fixed beam target in here. I could press the up arrow key and I can change that to, from target number and you see it's changing from fixed 1010 to pulse 1010. These are the only targets that's in this particular readout but there could be nine different targets in here.
So if I have three different targets, and I, each, whatever target I have plugged in here, I want to make sure I have that target selected in the menu in order to get the, the corrected numbers. When I'm polling, it'll tell me it's polling. If I'm listening, it'll tell me it's listening. If I'm cabled, I'll see the cable light up. Uh, display units tells me if I'm in inches or millimeters, what my selection was. Uh, this, this is critical here when you're doing bore alignments. You want to make sure you're in absolute, not zero, absolute. Same thing here with the charging. If I plug it into the charger, the charging light comes on. When it reaches full charge, the light will turn off, shut the charging circuit off so you don't overcharge. These are lithium ion batteries in here. If the battery gets low, I'll see that. When it's communicating, I see this down here. This is the same as the R1307B 2.4. I press the button momentarily and I get the battery life remaining. Oh, on the side, on the rear of the, we have an optional kickstand here. We call it a kickstand. I can bring, slide that out and this will stand up on the surface. There's also, if I push this in, there's also magnets here so I can clamp this right to the side of a machine or on, on a, to a surface so it doesn't, the cable doesn't pull in and knock it off on the floor and destroy it. So that concludes the R1307 Universal 2.4.